12 things in the Swedish fika that are so yummy. Today is number 4 and we're having choklad bollar. Simply translated to English, it's a chocolate ball. These chocolate balls are so amazing. I can easily say that these are one of my favorite non-baked chocolate balls. All right, so to start us off, we're gonna be needing 100 gram butter. We're gonna need a half deciliter raw sugar, one deciliter uh, powdered sugar, and then three tablespoons coffee. The coffee's gonna be brewed already, so it's not powder, it's liquid. I would say it's pretty important for your butter to be room temperature because you're gonna then add it to the mixture to the mixer and start mixing all your ingredients one at a time. So first you start off with your butter and then you add your raw sugar, you add your powdered sugar and then you add your coffee into the mixture. An interesting fact about the chocolate ball is when it was first printed in 1956, it was called the N ball. Obviously, that is not the name for it anymore. It's simply a chocolate ball, which in my opinion should have had that name from the beginning. I recommend doing this in a mixer that has a cover because once you add the coffee it will splatter. Don't forget to scrape your sides so nothing ends up being left out. Once you're done with that you'll be needing 4 teaspoon cocoa powder, 2 teaspoon hot chocolate powder and then you'll need one tablespoon vanilla sugar and four deciliter oat flour. It's important for it to be oat flour. Go ahead and add those ingredients one at a time and when you come to the oat flour, add it a little bit at a time. You're gonna keep mixing until everything is blended and it looks something like this. What's so good about this recipe is that you can literally just taste it right there and then. Yummy! Once you taste it and realize how amazing it is, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna control yourself. What you need to do is put it into the fridge for 30 minutes for it to cool so you can take it out and make it into balls. And then you can roll it in coconut uh, shreds. That's what I roll it in, it's so yummy. You can even roll it in melted chocolate first and then in coconut shreds. Try this recipe and then thank me later. I know it's not my recipe, but thank me later anyways. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to follow if you don't wanna miss the next Swedish Fika. Love you.